What's up, y'all? I'm Fast Track. I'm the best mamma jamma who ever stood in front of a camera. Okay, now, before we do this video and the reaction to it, here's a little something I just want to get off my chest so that I don't have to hold it in anymore. Rocco, why do you have to disturb me while I'm doing my video? Shame on you, cat. Shame on you. Okay. Anyway, here's a little something I just want to get off my chest. Besides this cat. Rocco, I'm trying to do a video here. Do you mind? Uh, brothers, am I right? You know what? Come on, Rocco. Let's just get you down from here. Ah. Okay. Rocco, stay. Stay. Okay. Now, here's a little something. I just want to get off my chest so that I can just have it open out there and I can just get through this. Oh my god, Deadpool was awesome! Did you see the movie Deadpool? It was all like, pew, pew! And all the fourth wall breaks and all the comedy and the mention of Ryan Reynolds stuff and, and... Okay, okay. Okay. But... Yeah, Rocco agrees. Deadpool was awesome. <sighs> okay. Now that we got that out of the way, let's do what I'm reacting to. Today, I'll be reacting to Ruby. Yeah, it's... Been a while since I've done one of that. <laughs> so, for today's, I'll be acting to three videos. Chapter 8, 9, and 10 of Season 1. Players and Pieces, The Badge and the Burden, 1 and 2. What was that? Anyway, so I haven't done Ruby in, what, three weeks? Probably more. So, today I'm trying to catch up. By the way, I took a quick peek at the playlist and seeing that Ruby already has like a total of 70 something videos so I have a lot of catching up to do so uh, maybe just maybe I'll make one month of the year a Ruby month I don't know when it's going to be but eh, hopefully it'll help me catch up so without further ado let's get into Ruby chapter 8 layers and pieces let's do this Five, four, three, a uh, two, a uh, one. Wait! I almost forgot. Skip 30 seconds in so we don't get copyrighted. Uh, YouTube has gone crazy these days. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Ruby! I told you this was a terrible idea! We're huh? fine! Stop Where are you? Are you falling or something? In a bad way! In a very bad way! Well, why don't we just jump? What? Where are you? Insane? Where? Are those Oh, you insufferable little friend! Blake, did you hear that? What should we do? Hi, Blake. Hi, yeah. Uh, were they on top of a giant bird? At Hi, John. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> grim puppies. And anime eyes. Now she looks like Screwball from <coughs> Daughter of Discord. Hey, Ruby. Did your sister just fall from <laughs> the sky? Just I... hanging around. Did she just fall off a giant grim bird? And, oh, look, a bear. <laughs> Nora! Aww, it's broken. Or Pinkie Pie, whichever. You... Nora? Please. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna call her Pinkie Pie from now on. I'm queen of the castle. I'm queen of the castle. Nora! <laughs> what is happening here? Did that girl just ride in? Should I call her Pinkie Pie or Deadpool? That was a giant scorpion. Run! Kira! Whoa! Ruby! Yeah, just Ruby? hang around, man. Yay! I already made that joke. Nora! Donkey! <laughs> all the way here with the okay. Death Stalker on her tail. Uh -huh. I can't take it anymore! Could everyone just chill out for 
two seconds Yang. before something crazy happens again? You going Super Saiyan? <sighs> what? Um, What's Yang? happening? Oh, right, Weiss. Did you leave? She's <laughs> on top of a giant grim bird. I said jump. She's gonna fall. She'll be fine. She's falling. How do you know that? <sighs> Damsel in the distress. Time to play hero. Yeah. Oh, he actually catches her. Oh, God. Oh, right. Still falling. No! My hero. My For black. Oh, God. Great! Oh. The gang's all here. Now we could die together. Not if I can help it. No, no, don't die. You still got three more seasons on you. Oh. No, don't worry. Totally this fine. is gonna be good. No, no, no. Bring out the stuff. Yang, 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 yang. Razor feathers. That is awesome. Ruby, get out. This is why you should never wear capes. If you've seen The Incredibles, you know why. Capes. They're dangerous. Ruby. Huh? You are so childish. Is that ice? Weiss? And dimwitted and hyperactive. And don't that rhymes. Weiss, ice. And I suppose I can. I guess she it. really is an ice queen. <laughs> Colts, but if we're going to do this, must not we're make going reference. To have to do this must together. not make reference. So I can't resist. Let it, it go. Let it go. Nicer. Okay. I'm not trying to show off. I want you to know I can do this. You're fine. <sighs> Normal. Uh, ship it like FedEx? Whoa! It's still alive! Come on, you could have uh, taken the chance to kill it. So happy you're okay! Aww. Ship it like FedEx? Guys! Whatever. That thing's circling back. What are we gonna do? Look, there's Run, no sense scream, in scream, and Nora! What is with that face? She's right. Our mission is to grab an artifact and make it back to the cliffs. There's no point in fighting these things. Run and live. That is what the weird faces. That is an idea I can get behind. Yes. Good. Run and live. It's a pony. King of the castle. Kill it. Time we left. You had your chance. Right. That's gonna Let's escape. Go. Freedom! Nothing. She's just so proud of her little sister. Oh dear, there's a giant bird. Oh, is this the episode where Yang literally punches a bird out of the sky? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. See? This is why you should have killed it when it was trapped in ice. Nora, distracted. Ooh. Go Pinkie Pie! I know her name is Nora, but I'm calling her Pinkie Pie. Or Deadpool. Whichever fits better. Kira! Run, 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 as fast as you can. Ooh. Oh, they're they separated. Get over there. They need help. Let's do this. Yeah, but uh, I can make that jump. <laughs> Whoa. What? Oh, ho, ho, it's hammer time. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. 
right on the noggin. Ah. Blake. Ah. Is that a is that a rope dart? Ah. Since when does she become Scorpion from Mortal Kombat? It's tougher than it looks. Then let's hit it with everything we got. Oh boy. Oh. Come on. Wow. I really, really am loving this. Like, they're like literally jumping off the walls. Off the falling, crumbling walls. Yay! <laughs> she ain't so tough. Ooh. Ooh, right in the eye. Oh no. It's the ninja. Oh. That looks like it hurts. Is she gonna... That is brutal. Up, oh, he dead. For now. Yay! There's just something about a girl punching a bird to death, a giant bird out of the sky. That's just so mm, good. Tag out. Weiss's turn. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it on anymore. Okay. What is happening? Of course you would come up with this idea. Think you can make the shot? Hm. Can I? And of course I can. Oh boy. Wow, that is decapitation. 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 So, are we gonna deep fry it? But it was eleven wow. herbs and spices. Maybe cooking for Thanksgiving. Victory pose. Well, that was a thing. Yeah. Russell Thrush, Barton Winchester, Dove Bronzewing, Sky Lark. The four of you retrieved the Black Bishop pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Cardinal. Led by Carden Winchester. John Hart, uh, I Red, Kira Nikos, Nora Valkyrie. The four of you retrieve the white rook pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Juniper. <laughs> Led by Shipping like FedEx. John Hart. Huh? Led by. Congratulations, really? young man. Whoa! <laughs> And finally, Blake Belladonna, Ruby Rose, Weiss Schnee, and Yang Shao Long. Schnee. The four of you retrieve the White Knight pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Ruby. Led by Ruby Rose. Yep. I'm so proud of you! Team Ruby. Led by like Ruby. That's not going to be confusing at all. Interesting year. Are you guys sure that Ozpin isn't the villain? 
Just asking and... S oh look, it's that broken moon. Where are we? Oh no, that guy! City of Valley. Valet? Open it. Doing some of your dirty business? Oh, right, those are dust crystals, or magic. We're gonna need more men. Yeah. So, you can actually sell magic. That's a thing. Episode over? Well, oh, yep, that's it. So, that was Players in Pieces. A little more continuation of the Emerald Forest, but we got to see those duos turn into groups and now we see who those groups are and we got our two main groups of four like I believe Jean Pura Nora and Ren make Team Juniper Juniper why does that name sound familiar? Juniper yeah, whatever. and now we got Team Ruby Led by Ruby. Like I said, that won't get confusing at all. So, if I want to talk about Ruby Rose or Team Ruby, oh boy, this is going to be a real burden on me. But, I'm sure we can get through this, and I'm sure you guys are smart enough to know which one I'm talking about. Okay, so, with that said, let's get to Chapter 9, The Badge and the burden. Once again, skipping 30 seconds in so I don't get copyrighted for the song at the beginning. Alright, let's see this. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Yeah. Aww. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Weiss. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, Team Ruby! <coughs> what in the world is wrong with you? Now that you're awake, we can officially begin our first order of business. Is she wearing a cape Decorating. with her uniform? What? We still have to unpack. And clean. <laughs> All Gosh. Right. Weiss, Blake, Yang, and their fearless leader, Ruby, have begun their first mission. Banzai! Dink. <laughs> oh no! Boy bands! Huh. Fancy art. Books. Ninjas of love. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh Well, that's some way to redecorate. And patch it together. going to work. Uh, what Maybe about the cramped. beds? Maybe we should ditch some of our stuff. Or we could ditch the beds and replace them with bunk beds! Um, that sounds incredibly dangerous. And super awesome! It does seem efficient. <laughs> well, we should put it to a vote. I think we just did. Uh. <laughs> the, the comedy here is amazing. <laughs> Objective complete. All that right. does not look safe. Our second order of business is... They're not engineers at all. Classes. Now, we have a few classes together today. At nine, we've got a big... What? Did you say nine o'clock? Um... It's 8.55, you dunce! Oh. Run! Uh, oh, hey, guys. To class! Class? Uh, uh, oh. We're gonna be late! Eh, it worked better in Scooby-Doo. Yes, just Demons. drink your coffee. Prowlers of the night, 
Yes, the nice of mustache. The have many names, but I merely refer to them as prey. Ha <laughs> 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 And you shall too upon graduating <laughs> from boring. this prestigious academy. Now, as I was saying, Vale, as well as the other three kingdoms, are safe havens in an otherwise treacherous world. Our planet is absolutely teeming with creatures that would love nothing more than to tear you to pieces. And that's where <laughs> we come in. Huntsmen! Huntresses! Uh... <laughs> hey, I'm supposed Who to do that to Yang. to protect those who cannot protect themselves. From what you ask? Why, the very world! Hey, yeah! Is he important? Is what I mean, he's colored, become. so... But first, a story. A tale of a young, handsome man. Ah. Uh, Me. Ah. Uh, I was a boy. Okay, he's literally saying the word blah 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 Just and yada yada. Smelling of cabbages. My grandfather was a wise man. <laughs> My <told> cabbages. <laughs> okay, he's literally saying blah blah. <laughs> In the end, the Beowulf was no match for my sheer tenacity. And I returned to my village okay. with the beast in captivity, and my head held high, celebrated as a hero. The moral of the story? A true huntsman must be honorable. A true huntsman must be dependable. <laughs> True huntsman must be strategic, well educated, She's gonna and snap. wise. So, who among <gasps> you believes themselves to be the embodiment of these traits? I do, sir. Oh. Well then, let's find out. Step forward and face your opponent. Ah, uh, bad time to snap, Weiss. Ooh, what's this? Funky. Okay, so, in this episode, we get room cleaning, decorating, bunk beds, and really, really good comedy. I mean, I just loved the comedy. I mean, all the fast pace on point, it just hit, 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 and you just laugh. Haha. <laughs> okay. Now that we've seen that, let's get to Chapter 10, The Badge and the Burden, Part Dos. So, Weiss is stepping up to a captive Grimm. Are they allowed to do that? Oh my god, who am I kidding? It's it's Harry Potter with guns. You can, oh, I don't know, just, I don't know, bring your pet to class. Which is quite literally what he did. So, Weiss against the Grimm whatever. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, 30 seconds in. Alright, let's see. Ruby, Chapter 10, The Badge and the Burden, Part 2. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's see this! Wow, she quickly changed to her white uniform. Go Weiss! Fight well! Yeah! Represent Team Ruby! Yay! I'm trying to focus! Oh, oh. sorry. Alright, let the match begin! Is that an axe musket? It's a pig! Or boar! I'm just gonna call it pig. I wasn't expecting that, were you? Hang in there, Weiss! Oh. Oh, oh. I like it! Come on, Weiss! Show it who's boss! Oh no! Oh, oh! Now what will you do without your weapon? Run! Oh, it's on its back. Now's what? your chance. Go for its belly! There's no armor underneath! Don't tell yeah, me what to do! Oh. What is this, Sonic the Hedgehog? There we go. Bravo! Bravo! It Did you just kill an animal in class? In the presence of a true huntress in training. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today. Be sure to cover the assigned readings, and stay vigilant. Class dismissed. 
Wow, that was some class. Sheesh, what's with her? I think she hates Ruby. Weiss! What? What's wrong with you? Why are you being- What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? You're supposed to be a leader, oh. and all you've been so far is a nuisance. <laughs> what did I do? That's just it! You've done nothing to earn your position. Back in the forest, you acted like a child, and you've only continued to do so. Weiss, where is this coming oh. from? What happened to all the talk about working together? I thought you believed in acting as a team. Not a team yes. led by you. I hey. and trained. And quite frankly, I deserve better. It's because she's a redhead, Austin isn't it? Austin made a mistake. Well. Oh. Now that didn't seem to go very well. Oh, you've been there. Right? Did you make a mistake? That remains to be seen. He doesn't know. Are you sure this guy isn't the villain? Professor Port! Ah, Miss Cheney! And to what do I owe Chene. this fine pleasure? I... I enjoyed your lecture. Of course you did, child. You have the blood of a true huntress in you. You really think I so? I love his mustache. Oh, it's like the Lorax. Hmm. Something's troubling you. Yes, sir. Dear girl, confess to me your strife. Well... Why did he talk like that? I think I should have been the leader of Team Ruby. That's preposterous. What do you mean? I mean, hmm? it's only been one day. Ruby, I've made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. But at this moment, I would not Are consider you your sure appointment to leader to be them. one of them. Do you? Excuse me? I've believed in Professor Osborne for many years, and the man's never once led me astray. So you would just blindly accept his decision, Those even after seeing how exceptional contradict I am? Each other. With all due respect, your exceptional skill on the battlefield is matched only by your poor attitude. How dare you! My point exactly. Oh, I a girl before snap. me who spent her entire life getting exactly what she wanted. That's not even remotely true. You just well, got verbally bitch slapped. Entirely true. Being a team leader isn't just a title you carry into battle, but a badge you wear constantly. If you are not always performing at your absolute best, then what reason do you give others to follow you? So the outcome hmm. did not fall in your favor. Do you really believe that acting in such a manner would cause those in power to reconsider their decision? So instead of fretting about what you don't have, savor what you do. Hone oh. your skills, perfect every technique, and be not the best leader, but the best person you can be. We're learning morals. You have been burdened with a daunting responsibility, Ruby. I advise you take some time to think about how you will uphold it. Wow. So they're, birth so they're both learning something. About humility, leadership, and just being better people. Okay, that does not look safe. Ooh, Yang. Oh, she really does try to study. What? Is, I, I, I was studying and then I fell asleep. I'm sorry. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. How do you take your coffee? Uh, I, I don't... Answer the question. Uh, cream and five sugars. <sighs> don't move. And five. Here. Um, Does she have a coffee maker five. under there? Ruby, I think you have what it takes to be a good leader. Just know that I am going to be the best teammate you will ever have. Aww. Good luck, Ship it like FedEx. That's wrong, by the way. Hey, Ruby? Uh-huh. I always wanted bunk beds as a kid. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it was so adorable. Song? Eh, not catchy, but my god, that mustache! He's like the Lorax, only with gray hair and taller and fatter <laughs> and with a musket axe. Or axe musket. That's it? That's it? Okay then.
time for my thoughts. Okay. Rocco, would you like to join me? Say hi to everyone, Rocco. Say hi to the internet. Anyway, so that was Ruby. The hold on, let me just fix this so we can see each other. So that was Ruby. Chapters Chapters, I believe eight through ten. Now then, my thoughts first on players and pieces. We got to see some really good action. We got to see some intense battle strategies, and we got to see the players play off each other and just, I don't know, fight for their lives. And we got to see Yang literally punch a bird out of the sky and decapitation. Ah, oh, beautiful. And then in Badge and the Burden, we... In part one, we got some awesome, awesome comedy. It was like, oh, like, yes. It was like, mmm. It was like, ha ha. It was like, okay, now I'm just saying noises. And in The Badge and the Burden, after a nice little fight scene at the beginning, we get a little bit of a moral. <laughs> wow. And... It's quite a good moral, knowing about leadership and knowing that some, sometimes you just gotta show that you can be the best person you are. And you can really show that you know how to lead, that you know how to take care of others. That's something good to know about. Well, that was my thoughts on Ruby, and I am really, really, really loving this series. Aren't you, Rocco? Yes. Yes, he is. Well, then. I can't wait to see what comes next in this series. And hopefully, if I can catch up to uh, Season 3. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find out soon enough. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. What do you want me to react to next? Leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, or whatever. In the meantime... I'm Fast Track. I'm the best mamma jamma who ever stood in front of a camera. And this is my little brother Rocco. And we will be back in a flash.